Hello, in this video, we are going to be considering a post load reduction to BS6399. So, in this BS6399 part 1, okay, we will be screwing down to table 2, where you have the post load reduction. So, we we'll screw down all the way to table 2. So, this table 2 will be explained in this video on how we can use it effectively to apply to our 19 floors building design the prior structure successfully. Okay. So you will learn how to reduce an import load on a high rise structure of this kind using put structure successfully. We are going to be covering that in this video. So stay tuned, stay connected, and then let us get started. Okay, so here we go. So this is structure we are going to be reducing the impulse load successfully, and here are the code requirements, the percentage according to the stories. As you can see from table two, yeah, uh, impulse load reductions. This yeah, we will have the numbers of stories on these columns. We have story one, two, three, four. 5 to 10, okay, accordingly, we'll be having the reductions of an input load based on the, you know, figure given here, okay. So, now, in our structure, we have a model, okay, this is 19th floors uh, uh, building, okay, design, all right. So, we will be navigating to where we can be able to incorporate this input load successfully. This is actually BS8110, okay, but let's see what BS8110 have, okay, at default in printer structure. We respect to an imposed load there uh, reductions. So for you to get that, you have to click on the story provisions. Right, click and click on the edit stories options. Okay, so in this edit stories options, you can see this is edit story. So you can see all the stories you have here. We can as well expand this. Okay, if you want to expand it, all right. So here you can see imposed load reductions. Okay, so if you check here, imposed load reductions. Over here is zero all through from the story one to story 19 right there okay so what we do is we just click on the applied right here so once you click on applied this imposed load reductions will actually be applied but we want to actually check the codes to see if our structure applications is in line with the code successfully and they will correct some things in this video all right so click on applied right there you see see now we click on apply and see the provision for in Post load reductions has been imputed. So you can now see that from uh, story one, you have from story one right there, okay, you can see we have 50 up. So you see what we have in the code is being applied upside down in our uh, in, uh, product structure, as you can see. So from story one, a post load according to code say is supposed to be uh, zero right there, okay. From story two is 10, story three is uh, 20, okay. So let's check. For story one, yeah, we're having it to be 50, which is from over 10, okay, over 20 stories, maximum of 50. So you can see it actually applies here successfully, but it is upside down, all right. So you can see 10, all right, from story. So the impose load is, you see, from prior structure is being reduced, okay, from the top most story to the down story successfully, okay. While from the code is being reduced from the uh, lowest story, okay as it goes up okay so you cannot see the way this imposed load is being you know impacted into product structure successfully but this may be based on the matrix systems of calculations of uh, product structure okay that they turn it upside down this way so load supposed to be reduced from the topmost story okay towards the base all right from the topmost story towards the base all right so that is what this uh, uh code is trying uh to tell us which is the aspect that is being embedded inside the proto structure successfully. So from what we have in the code here, you see as story one, we are not supposed to reduce any uh, imposed load. It's supposed to be the way it is, which is zero. As story two, we are supposed to reduce 10, all right? Okay, but now over to proto structure, you will see that as story one, we have 50 being reduced. 50% of the load being reduced as 31, okay? Now, if you come to the last floor, which is the 19th floor, you have zero. Simply means 19, 18 floors, we have zero, no load is, is being reduced, and then you now reduce 50% at, you know, story one. That simply means that uh, the weight of the structure at the topmost floor will be more higher than the weight of the structure at the story one, okay? Which is not balanced at all. Okay, because the structure should have more weight as the story, you know, declined towards the foundations, all right? The structure should have more weight, much weight at the foundations or at the first floor, second floor as compared to 
sixth, seventh, okay, floor successfully. So, from what I'm having here, we are going to be correcting this successfully. All right. So you can see reductions to be applied to color slash wall axial load transferred to the foundation successfully. All right. So if you reduce this percentage of load, meaning for assuming you have hundred percent, okay, of the load at the story wall, you reduce fifty, you are being left with fifty, and so. At the topmost story, which is story 18 right there, you leave it at 100%. That, that simply means at story 18, you have the structure more heavier, all right, than, okay, the weight of the structure at story 1, okay, which is not going to provide an equilibrium, okay, that we actually confirm the uh, integrity of the structure to stay the test of time successfully. So, I believe this is not actually being incorporated correctly okay based on the code so you can see the code right yeah this is ps 6399 part 1 1996 right there okay table 2 okay impose low reductions between floors okay so we are going to be correcting this so how do we correct this i think as story one we are supposed to be having it as zero all right as story two according to the you know you can see the code here according to the code we have this as 10 okay as story three we have that as 20 okay as story four you have 30 right there, okay? Story 5 from the 5th to 10th is going to be 40 or true, okay? 40 or true, all right? So, up to uh, the 10th story over here, we have that to be 40, okay? From the uh, story 5th to the 10th story, we should have that to be 40, okay? From the 11th stories, okay? Which is from 10 upward. From 10 upward, they have it to be 50. Okay, percent reductions. Okay, so you have the 11 story to be 50 right there, 12 to be 50 as well, and then we have the um, the 13 stories as well to be 50. Okay, so all of this is going to be 50. Okay, up to the maximum of 50 stories. All right, up to the maximums of 50 stories. So in this provision, we should have this to 50 as well. Yeah, it's going to be 50, so we have only 19 story in this structure, all right? So we have been able to reduce uh, this load in percentage successfully according to the code uh, requirement successfully, as you can see right here. So this is the correct, okay, way of uh, imposed load reductions, okay? Now, imposed load reductions, one thing you need to note about it is not being also applied to the dead load do not reduce the load of the structure all right when you want to reduce loads you only reduce the imposed load and not the dead load of the structure okay so that it will not affect the integrity of the structure successfully so this is the right way you can apply it and impose load reduction successfully to your high rise structure you have been designed a proton structure so you have to do this before you can have the analysis all right okay so you have to do this after which you click on the okay options right there click on the OK option so you can see impose the reduction factors modify do you want to save the project in order to make sure that the new factors are used during the design say yes options yeah. okay so the factors have been applied to this structure successfully at this point you cannot proceed to carry out your analysis to actually see and then check how this load has been reduced successfully because after analysis you have to also check the foundations to see how this load has been reduced because uh, you know the load was that much so because it is an iron structure because of the imposed load uh, activities okay that take place in this structure successfully okay so you can do that before and after the analysis you check the result of that successfully so that is how you can reduce your imposed load to bss399 okay successfully so at this point uh, we are going to be stopping here to continue in the next presentations. Alright, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned. There is a group chat for this channel. Okay, you can join the group chat, share your idea, ask questions, and then we we'll reply to your question as well as answer your question. Okay, if you need this code, uh, this code uh, PDF, okay, just join the group chat and then I will post it there on the group chat for you to have access to it. If you need any other code at all, you can chat me up privately, okay, through my contact in the descriptions of this video we we'll stop here okay